All right, Moses, these two teams play it four times in the next two weeks, and uh, you, they might be in the playoffs as well. So you got to be sick, or you got to be sick. You got to think, <laughs> much like us, uh, they might be sick of each other soon. Well, we're starting to get that way. <laughs> what do you see off camera is a little bit different when we're on. We're quite friendly here, and it seems like the gloves might be drawn over there as well. And if you look at the schedule makers, they probably mm -hmm. thought this one would be a nice way of having four games in five nights for the or five games, or I guess four games out of the five for the Bobcats face Drayton Valley. And boy, oh boy, this could turn into a playoff preview, much mm -hmm. like you said there, Jeremy. The Cats host Drayton twice this weekend, tonight and tomorrow at the Civic Center. With only a few games left, the Cats have a great chance to solidify their place in the standings. They're in a dogfight for second in the north with White Court and Bonneville. And depending on where the Bobcats finish, like we were saying earlier, they could face the Thunder in the first round. So by this time, those four games played could be a new rivalry in the making. Puck drop for this one is at 7.30. Meanwhile, those Bonneville Pontiacs are at home tonight taking on the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. Now moving on, now it was the third and final game of the series between Lloyd Minster and Camrose winner moving on to the Bantam AAA Division Finals. Not the result the Heat wanted, getting doubled up by the Wings 4-2. Jordan Borsuk and Brady Clayton got the goals for Lloyd Minster in the loss. Now for Rustlers women's volleyball captain Michelle Lang, tonight's contest versus the Augustana Vikings is different. Sure, it's the last chance for her squad to play in front of the home crowd this year but for playoffs, but it's also the finale to a successful career at Lakeland for the fifth year middle blocker. Josh Ryan has more. It always feels a little different for athletes heading into the last weekend of their season. But for Rustler's middle blocker, Michelle Lang, it signals the end of an era. The fifth-year student-athlete will hit the court in Lakeland's gymnasium on Friday for the last time. It's exciting. For, I'm really excited for tomorrow, but it's also it's a little bit of a sad feeling to know that it's, um, it's, all, it's coming to an end. Lang has left a mark on the ACAC over her career as a wrestler, breaking the all-time mark for blocks back in January and being named all-conference in 2015. However, her most significant impact has been on her team. It's very special. It's kind of sad to see her go, but I mean, she's accomplished a lot over the past five years, and so it's really, it's exciting for us all, I think. She's stuck with it and been extremely dedicated to our program and to working out and uh, to just getting better, uh, and she's done that every single year that she's come here. Dyer has coached Lang since she started at Lakeland in 2011 and says it's bittersweet seeing her go. It's going to be an extremely sad time at the end of the season here when uh, we have to say goodbye and, and she's done. But at the same time, uh, it's, it's good for all the younger players to see, you know, if you stick with it and you do things the right way, uh, you're going to improve, you're going to get better uh, and stronger. There are many things Lang will miss from her time here at Lakeland, such as the buzz of anticipation on game day or the roar of a rowdy home crowd. But chief amongst the nostalgia of Rustler's life is the relationship with teammates and staff. The friends that I've made, all the memories I've made, like I consider this my wrestler family and these five years have really shaped and developed who I am today so um, without it I, I don't know where I would be. Lang admits there's a strong possibility of tears coming out once the final whistle blows here at the Lakeland Gymnasium. Yet despite this week's distractions, her focus remains, like the rest of her teammates, on winning a championship. It would just be an unbelievable feeling to end on that note, and I think that's definitely a reachable goal that we can get as a team. We're going to show up and we're going to give it our all. And so if we could end winning it, I would be over the moon happy. I don't think I'd have words to explain the feeling. Josh Ryan, New Cap Sports. Now sticking with wrestlers volleyball, the men are also saying goodbye to their own fifth year captain, Sam Dwevi. The Auckland, New Zealand native wraps up his volleyball career after spending four years at Brandon University before coming to Lloyd Minster. The CIS star joined the wrestlers this season recording 362 kills well ahead of the competition. However, the fifth year has meant far more than stats and wins for Lakeland, pushing the returning members of the team as they've never been pushed before. His leadership and hard work has left a mark on the men's program that they hope will be seen in the years to come. Now, just a mental, or I guess a note for you guys as well, who want to catch these matches, they will be underway. Six o'clock for the ladies, men will go at eight. Meanwhile, the wrestlers' basketball teams get set to tip off in Edmonton tonight as they face King's College. For one member of the ladies' squad, it's been a surreal season. 
it was kind of different learning your role as a college player compared to a high school player where you're top scorer. When we first came out here, it was different to be on a team of all top scorers. So kind of just learning your role and how you can make a difference for your team. She never thought she would get here, but fifth year Cameo McCurley holds the school records all time for points, rebounds, steals, and block shots. News that came as a surprise to the Saskatoon product. Chris mentioned something about it earlier today, but before that, I didn't know. I didn't think really that could be an option with my first year. I was happy because I kind of wanted to do just something kind of leave my mark here at Lakeland, so it was nice to hear that and maybe I accomplished that this year. As every player gets older, they think back to their first few years and uh, realize that maybe they could have put in more time or took it more seriously, and now she's in that mode where uh, you're watching today's practice, she's the best player. Always known as a competitor in games and at practice, Mercurley has also left an impression on her teammates. Every year she works hard in practice. She's not someone who ever slacks off. It doesn't come easy to her. She works hard. Well, she's definitely like the grandma cam on the team or like a mom. So like we can always go to her. And um, yeah, she's helped like all of us, especially out with so much. If you see somebody working hard, then you're right behind her. So she's a hard worker and very aggressive, which makes our team strong. And she's, that's why she's captain. While Saturday's seniors night will be an emotional event, Grandma Cam, as Tori put it, will have another opportunity to give wrestler fans something to cheer about later in March. That's all I really care about. No matter really what happens this year, I think we just wanted to win a championship and um, first time going to nationals for women's basketball here at Lakeland, so that would be huge for me.